So this is the 426 exit ticket warm up. All right, so you said, who was that that said I couldn't hear you? Let's see. All right, and you said get rid of the parentheses, right. So we already know we got a negative 1.4. We get rid of this by just combining the plus and the minus gonna give you a minus because you basically distributed a positive of one and that's gonna give you 9.3. And then you got one back here, you distribute the negative uh, but the positive one here and that's gonna give you a uh, positive and a negative is gonna give you a negative 2.7. And what's another thing that we need to do while we're converting, uh, turning this uh, expression, we're making it easy to work with. What is something else we need to do? Anybody guess? We need to convert our fractions to decimals. All right, and how are we gonna do that? Well, we see that when we're dealing with a fraction of, that's basically division. That's basically this number being divided by that number, but it's four fifths is the exact, but four, five may not go into four an even number of times. Like eight may not go into seven an even number of times, but it may still be a rational number. All right, so let me, let's go ahead and do our division over here to the side. And so we're gonna have, we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna basically divide five into four and we know it won't go into four. So let's go ahead and move on. When five are going to 4.0, what? How many times? Eight times. Right. So we're gonna bring our decimal point eight, eight times that. 0.8 times five is 4.0. So really we didn't even need the other zero. I just brought it up. So. Basically, that's it right there. So that is, so is, it, is the answer gonna be positive or negative? Negative, right? Negative, absolutely. So let me write out, so I, so there's gonna be a negative, negative 0.8. Let's just put a point, uh, let's do point eight since everything else is in the tense place. And then we did this one yesterday so I know you probably didn't even have to do the math on that one, but we can, um, what is this one? We know it's gonna be positive and we basically have eight being divided into seven. We know it won't, so we need seven, 70. Eight won't go into 70 an even number of times. So we're gonna have a remainder. And so the remainder is what? And that's, uh, that's what, six? We don't need that, we don't need that. That's six and it won't go in there, it'll go into 60. Uh, how many times are going to 60? Uh, seven times and that's gonna give us 56 and that's gonna leave four, right? Right, and a uh, four and a zero are going to give us a five. So there's going to be 0 0.875. All right, so that's 0 0.8 and that's 0 0.875. Does everyone see that? Yeah. All right, now, now let's, since we're dealing with all pretty much negative numbers, we could combine the like terms, right? It doesn't matter which order it's in because of the associative or commutative property of addition and subtraction. So it doesn't matter. So we can basically put that, that, but you go left to right when you're doing the order of operations since this is all just positive and negative plus or minus. So we have negative 1.4 and then we basically got a plus, it's basically a negative 1.4 plus a negative nine, 0.3 and you're going to add these so that's going to give you a 7 and that's going to give you a 10 you know your sign is negative so we combine these and they give us a 10.7 so we have 10.7 and how about a negative 0.8 
plus 0.875. I really like doing it with the uh, higher number on top. So let me switch this. Uh, let me just do, yeah. Let me scratch that. All right. And then that's point 0.8 and you just put zero, zero. So that'll be the five, that'll be the seven and that'll be zero. So basically now is this answer gonna be positive or negative? Is the answer between point, positive point 875 being combined with a negative 0 0.800 going to be positive or negative? It's going to be positive because the positive number is slightly larger, right? Absolutely. It's going to be positive. So you got a 10.7 plus 0 0.075. Now we have a negative 2.7, negative 2.7. All right, so what are we gonna do now? We're gonna combine the like terms. Let's combine the negative numbers and then take, or we can do it either way. I would say do that and then we just deal with this. So if I have a negative uh, 10.7 and I also have a negative 2.7, what's that give me? That's that's a four, that's one. So that's basically negative 13.4. But we have a positive, we have a positive 0 0.075 we have to deal with. So we basically are left with 13, negative 13.4 plus, plus a 0 0.075. All right, that's a plus sign. All right, and so you can add the zeros on the negative. I hope that's not, no, let me, let me erase this so it won't confuse people. All right. So we got a, we're dealing with a positive that. So here you are. So you got, 10, that's gonna make that five. This will be a nine, that'll be a two. This will be a three, that'll be a three. And this will just, um, this will just come down. This will be a negative, negative 13.325. Are there any questions? on how I got that answer. Any questions? Can y'all hear me? I'm good. Good. Okay, was this helpful for y'all? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, all right, so when you see the 426 uh, warm up, I'll put this in the, um, I'll put this in the, um, in the math resources, how about that? All right.